Anything other than that? Not really. It's cold outside. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Shanice. Thank you guys for tuning in. So, long time no see. Hello. Um, <laughs> I want to get right into it. What I do, I talk about my testimonies that I have been experiencing throughout my life now. Um, so, God gave your girl some money and I don't even know where it came from. Okay, so I'm a, I give you guys like some background before I tell you the testimony, but so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell the truth and shame the devil and I'm going to expose myself so bad, but, um, but I have to because I gotta show y'all the progress. Um, so growing up, I was a pretty favored individual. I never, wanted for nothing like I always got what I wanted I went where I wanted to go I never was in need or anything like that I was I was I would say highly favored so um I was highly favored I worked for my money my my family was you know financially there and I was just blessed and I took that for granted and not knowing I know now what I took for granted then but I just God kept me. God kept me throughout my life. Okay? Even when I was doing, even when I was not doing things pleasing in his sight, he kept me. I would get money, and, and this is even up until as of recent, I would get money and I would spend it. I'm spending money. It, it come and it go. It, it's spent before I even touch it. It's gone. I was very financially illiterate. I was very financially just like, I got it. I'm gonna get it. Like, what's stopping me? Nothing stopping. Nothing stopping me. So, I and, and it's and it's disgusting the way that I spent money. I was disgusted with myself, and I was just really selfish with it as well. I was not generous with my money. Um, I had. Okay, I'm gonna give y'all two examples: homeless people and and waitressing. I did not get like. Okay, let me not say I was selfish. If I'm in a relationship, I'm I'm like pimping pimping these things out. I'm I'm giving my money if I'm in a relationship. Even friendships was kind of iffy to me with me, you know, sharing money or anything like that. And that's something that I had to pray about for real because I'm like, how can I, you know, be friends with somebody and, and want to hold back from them when somebody's in a time of need just because they didn't do the same for me or just because I don't ask. So why are you asking me, right? So I needed to pray on that. I, ne I needed to pray on everything, honestly. So with homeless people and waitressing, people who work in restaurants or whatever, beauty, hair, hair stylists, whatever, and tips, giving tips and giving money to the homeless. My logic behind it was for homeless people, you could find your way to get a cup and hold your hand out and beg for money, or you can find your way at the bank, you know, where people are going in and out, taking money, managing their money in and out. You can find your way to the bank to sit on the floor and beg you can find your way to a shelter you can find your way to a to a, a, a something you know to get you someone you can find your way to put on something fill out a job application and get something from somewhere you can find your way to do that that was my logic behind that very very confined okay um with waitressing i would not give t I don't I don't like giving tips. My whole logic is I'm not your boss. I don't get ta tax write off for you. I don't claim you on my taxes. Why am I giving you my money? I'm paying the set price for whatever I want, whatever product I want. If I want my hair done, if I want this type of food, I'm paying that. Why do I have to pay extra? So that's my logic behind it, and it was very wrong. Um, but and it was very selfish. Um. I wouldn't give a tip for nothing. You, you forget my sauce. If you forget my sauce, or if you have me waiting too long for something, I'm that's I'm not giving you no tip. That's it, okay? Your, your little ten dollars, 
$15 is not, no, it's mine. And I also worked in waitressing and I, when I went into the mindset, when I went into waitressing, I went into it with the mindset of, they, they gave us a set pay. And this is in the, in the, in the, in the club scene, it, which is very, very lucrative. But I went into it with, I, I'm getting the set pay and I'm good with that. Anything else I make on top of that, I'm okay with it. I'm not gonna sit here and say because I mixed a drink or because I bought a bottle out that I deserve a $100 tip. No, but if you give me that, I'm, I'm grateful. So I went into it knowing that some days is gonna be good, some days are gonna, going to be bad and I'm okay with that. And also back to other waitresses, like you guys, you signed up for this job so you knew what it came with. You knew some days you're gonna get blessed, some days you're not. And, and it's not my problem. <laughs> That's what you signed up to do. So, okay. So now, I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> um, so then, okay, so now, that was my logic behind giving. Very selfish, not being generous, very seldom am I generous. In relationships, I'm very generous. I, anything other than that, not really. So now, I'm going on three months of Y'all know that I left my job. I'm going on three months of having zero income. God, God is funny, God is so funny. I'm going on three months of having no income. This is 12 paychecks I don't have, right? And God is so good to me, even when he, when I don't deserve it. Um, so I'm feeling it. You know, we got bills to pay, we got money to shell out every month um, and the way I was spending money is like, I was not preparing myself for for a, a rainy day. Let's, no, let me not even say that. I was just spending money and I was not, I was irresponsible at all. That's just what it is. Um, so one day, me and my best friend, uh, we heard that if you speak it out, you know, you tell God specifically what you want. And if your actions are aligned with your blessing, you will be blessed. Your actions gotta match it though. And for you to really feel the joy of that blessing that you're asking for. I hope you understand what I'm saying right now. Um, so we're speaking and I'm like, I want this certain amount of, of money, this certain dollar amount before the end of this year. Because in October, it's now December. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. Unemployment is not coming through for your girl. I probably got in touch with them at this time one time and I was to file a claim and my stuff has been pending ever since then, right? So so I'm like I don't I don't have no way. I don't have no I don't have nothing. I and I'm I don't want to apply for work because that's not fulfilling me. It's it's not in I, like I told you guys, if I don't gotta do it, I'm not gonna do it. So I'm, I'm actually choosing to like slow my funds down because I know something has got to give. Um, so I'm, I'm speaking this dollar amount, and you could call it manifesting. I don't. I'm gonna call it. Um, it's called you voice activate your blessings. Um, and this is real. It's just, it's just very real. Yo. <laughs> December before, I can't even give you the date, but it was right before Christmas. Your girl came home to not one, but two checks that I don't know where they came from. Like, I need you to understand this. I need you to understand this. I don't know where they came from. I wasn't supposed to get no money. I wasn't supposed to get no money from wherever that shit came from. So I'm just like, in the end, I told you, I said I was specific with the dollar amount. I ain't even, like, God is just too good to me. God is just too good for me to complain about anything, okay? The lessons that I learned from this. <sighs> I've been on this journey, and I can't even say what I'm doing right now, but before I started doing something on top of what I'm doing, um, this is gonna sound confusing, I'm sorry. I, I had to... When when I when I when I've gotten the journey, I'm like you know I have to be more generous. I have to tithe. 
I have to give to the homeless and I have to give them tips and I have to help out people who I know they need help. I have to, okay? It feels better and it felt better for me to do that than not to do it. You understand? Just like when people say that it takes more energy for me to have an attitude than for me to be peaceful, right? It, it just takes less energy for me to withhold than to just give especially if I have it, right? Even if I don't have it, God blesses you. God blesses the person. You can have $100,000 and only give $10,000. The person that has $20 and gives $10, they are more, that's more pleasing in God's sight than the person that gave $10,000 out of 100,000. You understand what I'm saying? You don't even have to have to give and, and God's going to bring, he's going to bring that back and bless you. Um, so there was this one time when I had gone out and uh, we, me and my, one of my best friends went out and I ordered a Cosmopolitan and the waitress came around and it's, it's, this is the wall. This is me. I'm sitting in this chair. There's the empty chair, the table. My best friend is sitting across from me, okay? Another empty chair, okay? The wall, me, the empty chair. My gray wool coat is in the empty chair. The waitress comes around, gives me my Cosmopolitan. It's filled up to the top, okay? First mistake, I guess. She spills the Cosmopolitan on my gray wool coat. And so now, that was a test for me. I had to, I, and she's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you know, and I'm just like, no, it's okay, it's okay. I wanted to really be very upset. I'm like, it's okay, because on top of the, I gotta pay your bill, now I gotta give you a tip, and I gotta go to the cleaners and pay for that, okay? You just gave me an extra bill that I ain't want, you hear me? So I'm like, this was this was a test for me. I, I, can't, I can't be my old self and, and try to hold things against people and they're like because old me would be like let me see your manager i'm getting you fired at this point like i'm i'm complaining this much when i'm making you very terrible because you just messed up my code for no reason so it's, it's just like who, what, why did that happen to me it happened to me because of who i was that's my karma that i created for myself so i'm like okay what do i want to say so now this is what I mean when your actions if you're gonna voice activate your blessings your actions got to be aligned with it in order for God to see fit that you receive those blessings right oh God the Holy Spirit I want the Holy Spirit to speak through me people think that they have things and they think that it's given to them from God if your actions are not aligned you know it can be from God, but it's going to be something after that. It's going to be a lesson after that. You understand what I'm saying? If you guess, if you have, if you are blessed and you're not even fulfilled, there's a lesson that's going to come after that because it's something you're not doing right. And then also, you, you steal stuff and you rob and, and you scam and you whatever and you call yourself, recording yourself, giving back to the homeless people, pair of sneakers, whatever the case, and you think that that's your good deed and... You think that all that scamming and robbing and, and all that drug dealing money you doing is, is a blessing. And it's not. It's, it's a blessing. It may be a blessing, but it's not from God. I'm going to tell you that right now because God is not of confusion. All that sh right there is confusion. Um, so like I said, if you want a peaceful blessing and you wanted to get it in, in and feel the joy that comes with that little blessing or even that big blessing, you, your actions gotta align. My actions had to align. I had to be more generous. I had to be more giving, even when I'm not having an income because I would have never got them two checks. And it's not even to say I'm, I'm, I'm just doing it just to get. No, 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 it feels better. And also, yes, you're reaping what you're sowing, right? You gotta sow and you reap it. You sow and you reap it, okay? For my people who's having a hard time being generous, I feel for you. You need to change. We're gonna change together. I just want people to be more aware. God took me, okay? When I thought I was doing everything on my own, when I thought I was elevating and making more money and doing this job and whatever the case, 
He took me from here and brought me all the way back here because of what I was not doing and because of the, I was on a crazy path spending money stupidly. He took me from here and in this season of my life, brought me back right here and said, nah, you gotta do this the right way. No matter how many times I get up there, you're gonna pull me back and cause I'm gonna get it right. I'm gonna have to get it right. <laughs> this is funny. This is funny, dragging me back down this path right here. Well, I'm so proud and I think that everything is me and I and I am it. I am the end or beyond. I'm here because I did this and I'm here because of the way I am. No, 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 sweetheart. Let me show you something real quick. Let me show you who's in control, okay? Let me humble you really, really quick. This and this is what has happened and I'm so grateful for it because I know <laughs> I, it's only gonna get better. It's only gonna get better. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I also want to say something too for the people. And there's no disrespect to any other religion, but I've had these conversations. Do I even want to say this? Is this the right time? I don't think this is the right time. Maybe it will be another time. I'm not trying to be controversial or anything like that. But um, this is a better one to say. Oh shit, the light is off. I'm bugging. Can you tell, can you tell the difference? Cause if you can, I can cause I'm looking at it. But my light was off when I was doing that one. Okay, so um, this is a better one. Let me give some advice. Take it if you wanna take it, if you trust it, take it. I would take it. In order for God to use you, in order for you to, to hear him, in order for you to con in order for your spirit to connect with God and for you to be filled with the lip with the spirit of the living God you have to consecrate yourself okay <laughs> consecrate yourself and get on your knees in full submission okay and it's everybody's different but let me just give you the if you really want it okay and ask God to purify you because you're gonna have to do whatever it takes for God to use you. You're gonna have to do whatever it takes. You're gonna have to divorce, divorce culture. You hear what I'm saying to you? Cause this is, this is not culture. And culture is, I'm posting on Instagram, designer, you want what I got. I know I look good. I know I'm about to get mad DMs. I know I'm about to get, this and that that's culture right now you understand what i'm saying you gotta divorce that and if you want god to use you if you want to hear him every day every day every day okay <laughs> you gotta ask god to purify you so that he sees fit that you can be used purify your heart purify your mind because we are all we have all done very wrong and it's like <laughs> Uh, and and you gotta do you gotta be willing to do what it takes okay and he's waiting for for everybody he's waiting for everybody to follow him he's waiting he's waiting he's waiting he is not pleased okay he is not pleased that he has not been pleased because we've been down here running a muck and myself included and it's like that uh, I made you <laughs> like what? Okay, so that's my testimony. Thank you guys for tuning in again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I was like, let me come in here with my glasses. You're gonna see the ring, like, I got like three lights up in this piece. One, two, three. One, two, three. I was like, this is gonna be cute, but no mind. I was like, this is gonna be cute, but I be holding stuff in my hand and I do not drink it. I just be talking. So who wants to be like this? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. No. And then my lashes keep getting caught in me. <laughs>